Good afternoon, Mr. Brown. In this podcast, I am going to discuss the differences and similarities of the characters, plot, and setting between the short story of Ricky Tiki Tavi by Rudyard Kipling and the animation by Chuck Jones. The plot of both the animation and short story were the same, but some minor things were changed. There is a narration at the start of the animation in which talks about how Ricky was washed out of his home where he lived with his parents and ended up at the big bungalow somewhere in India. The difference was that in the short story, Ricky was taken in by Teddy's mother, where in the animation, he is taken in by Teddy's father, as Teddy said they should bury Ricky. The next difference is when Ricky goes to explore around the bungalow, as in the animation, he explores more than he does in the short story. This is because the story only really talked about how the garden looked like. He then finds Darcy, the tailor bird, which was mournful as Nag and Nagaina took his eggs. Ricky soon fought Nag and Nagaina and jumped over Nagaina's head when she strikes in both of the versions. Another difference is when Teddy's mother applauded Ricky in the animation as he saved Teddy from a brown snake. However, in the short story they did not applaud him except they gave him treats. The similarity is when Ricky fights Nag in the bathroom and chases Nagaina through the garden. The main difference was that the main events were somewhat in different orders. The animation was more rewarding as it told more of the story and showed extra things that weren't in the book. There wasn't a lot of differences in the setting, but the animation showed more places than the short story. The start of the animation reveals the place where Ricky originally lived, which was the jungle. In both of the versions, it talks about the bungalow, but the short story doesn't reveal what it looks like. Another similarity that was at least mentioned was the garden, which was the other main setting in the story, as it is where Ricky makes new friends and enemies. Both versions talk about the bathroom and both show parts of the bathroom, however, the animation shows a lot more like the vase that Nag slept around. In both versions, it shows Teddy's room where he slept with Ricky. In the animation, it shows the living room and the kitchen where Teddy and his parents eat. The animation was more successful as in as it showed more of the area and there was a lot of detail that was put in most of the places to describe what it looked like. It was it also was very easy to capture the setting and the vibrant colours in the setting. The characters in both the animation and short story were very similar, but there were some things that were different or impossible to know. Ricky was very brave and strong. However, in the animation, he sounded older than he is, as in the short story, it says he knows how young he is. He also likes jumping around when he is going to fight. Teddy is young and very caring to Ricky and his parents. He looks and sounds very young. He is also very thoughtful and considerate. However, in the animation, he seems to be more worried about Ricky than in the story. This is because when Ricky is in a fight with the brown snake, Teddy seems to look very scared and worried as he does not want Ricky to get hurt. Nag is very evil and in the animation he is more plotting than in the short story as he came up with a plan that he strikes Teddy and his parents when they walk into the bathroom. He is very strong and quick but isn't as fast as Ricky as he was soon defeated by Ricky and Teddy's father. Nagaina is very stealthy and is fast, but in the short story, she is very smart and great at making plans to attack Teddy and his parents. Darcy is very cheerful and loves to sing. He likes to fly around a lot, as he is a tailor bird, and he is very worried about his eggs that were stolen. Darcy's wife is very different from Darcy himself. She played a big role in both versions and is very good at acting and intelligent when it comes to tricking others, as she led Nagina into a trap. The animation was more successful as it captures the characters' traits more, and it is also easier to understand what they are doing and how they are doing it. It also shows us what they sound like and look like. In conclusion, the animation was more successful as it had a lot more of information and details in the character, plot, and setting. The animation also tells us a lot of the characters and let us hear and see things we can't with this short story. It also had a nicer flow than the short story, even though the short story did a great job at describing the plot. 
The animation was easier to capture images and colors that the short story didn't have. The animation was more interesting and easier to understand.